hello guys how are you so today i will have two very important and interesting internship opportunity i will discuss about those in detail how to apply what are the eligibility everything but before that i want to actually celebrate the success of second semicon conference in india first happened i think last year if i am not wrong last or last to last year in bangalore and the second edition of semicon conference happened this year uh, 28 to 30 july that recently it finished and there are a few exceptional important news from vlsi industry so i thought let's share with you because then only you will get the motivation to keep on doing the hard work as really vlsi the semiconductor industry is very much important for our future self for our future of our country and for the world and that's why actually we are having this type of conference very frequently and one very great things happened and that actually announcement happened just before the conference is to start and that was from the micron if you know the micron they mostly prepare uh, make the memories they will set up a assembly and test manufacturing facility which is the first of kind in india and will be in gujarat most probably so that is one of the happening before the semicon started but and the best news came out of semicon in, in india conference and that is from amd the one of largest chip maker so amd gonna invest four million rupees dollars actually not rupees to india to build their one of the biggest design office in Bengaluru and they are saying that that design house will recruit 3000 new VLSI design engineer so see guys opportunity are just increasing it's all you need to have the concept clear apart from that there are some statistics and those statistics are see in 2022 we only like market consumption of India for semiconductor is only 24 billion dollar but it is expected that at 2023 it will go up to 110 dollar billion dollar so see how much increase is it? it is i think more than 300 yeah roughly little less than 400 percent of hike so 2024 gonna be more and it will go up only future we can't see without the semiconductor and you are fortunate enough i am fortunate enough that we know the technology we are studying that technology which is and will change the world so please keep on clearing your concept it might be boring it might be anything but uh, if you have an interest like me you can so have a trust on you and also there are a few thoughts given by some personalities in this article by outlook and one of which could touch my heart and that is they are saying that uh, when they are in their college there was not kind of conference like now it is happening semicon conferences right but you are in your college right and it is happening right now so you are fortunate enough that these things are happening right now in this article only they are saying see uh, there is not much awareness around semiconductor even in engineering colleges and that is perfectly true i did my btech from nit silchar that time vlsi when i was in my fourth year i had took vlsi as my elective and really speaking i have taken it just like elective only i never knew there is industry called vlsi industry and they are exactly telling this thing only for some student uh, gathered here is just a elective course and that was actually perfect my story and i hope currently uh, due to many people's effort this vlsi is not only a elective course and i am doing my best my bits of uh, what i can do for creating the awareness for vlsi how much opportunities are there and also the minister of state of electronics said that this semicon conference of india will become a global event a very important calendar event in global chip ecosystem and for sure because india is the biggest market we as a population we surpass china so we have lot of domestic consumptions so people can come here can manufacture here and have the domestic market only they can sell here only so why don't they come only we need some government initiative which is already started and i hope it will keep on increasing and the thing which needed and that is the vlsi engineers and i hope in india like you we have a lot of talent pool just we need to be aware what to learn what to know and we are ready to jump into making chips so are you excited so these are the few significant things happen during a semicon in the, um, conference also you should uh, hear our 
uh, Prime Minister lecture. It was a very nice one. You can also refer to this article to see it fully. Uh, this won't benefit you directly, but it will really boost up your motivation for keep on studying. So I strongly recommend you to go through it. So this is a very interesting article from Outlook, and they are saying here uh, Charkha to chips. And if you can see it, this is the Charkha like Gandhi ji uh, when we used to. Uh, so we um, what called uh, manufacture our cloth by hand and from there we are going to become a sensation in the world for chip manufacturing and you can see how beautiful this picture okay so moving to the internship opportunity the first internship opportunity is from iit bombay many of us have dreamed to study in bombay um, like iit any iit and iit bombay obviously it's a dream destination but there are circumstances and probably we haven't able to go there so they are giving me opportunity to do the internship from their campus for six months it's a golden opportunity never miss it first of all let us see the eligibility who can apply so in eligibility one thing is important and that is you must be in your second year of master or third or fourth year of your bt and also you should be in top 10% in your college in all discipline in all previous year it will start from December and it will go up to June this December 2024 so if we go here in the home section I'll give you the link in the description these are the important links so it will start from 1st August to this 3rd August it is already started then also you have around one month I think two months of time to prepare for interview I'll tell you how to prepare uh, then yeah, this, yeah your internship will start so now what to do you can read it everything is there you can go there you can apply but when you apply you need to give your project preference because they have given the projects what are the projects available and you will get a guide from iit bombay only so that means if you get selected one thing is that you will get a stipend of fifteen thousand. that is negligible side like no it is very very hype for as a student but i i'm telling you it is a side benefit but the best benefit you will get at that is a mentor a professor of iit in future if you go for any reference like uh, anywhere then he or she can vouch for you that hey you know the work so that's the actually best benefit if you get selected to iit bombay research internship so let us see the project available for especially for vlsi student so here go here and there are many departments are there first of all let us go to electrical engineering that is wh where we have the electronics vlsi there are AI, ML, there are many things, but one which uh, took my attention and that is this one, Memory Technology for Artificial Intelligence. Wow, man, this is the uh, like current technology, future technology. I want to learn it actually. I, I no, don't have not, 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 I have not much experience in designing artificial intelligence chips or hardwares. So if you go inside, then you will get the details most probably your uh, i think this is the professor name i'm not sure exactly you need to know so if he is the professor who gonna guide then you can have his linkedin id also you can have full detailed biography from iit bombay site also you can know what his interest uh, what are his research uh, interest and then you can prepare your story around that so that whenever he asks you a question in october interview you can answer everything you can impress him actually two months is enough if your basics a little bit uh, clear like for memory mostly you need to know your digital electronics your most with side digital ic design uh, whichever NPTEL courses i was telling you those things need to be clean and then there are two months you can revise them and you can try to impress this professor but i'm not sure is the professor name or not pi name i'm not sure i'm not sure but yeah if it is and also in the degree as i said second year of master or third and fourth year of your um, btech and these are the technical background actually microcontroller microprocessor python programming so <laughs> you need to know the python programming if you don't know you have two months or you can actually no i won't tell you now i have a detailed video like if you no, don't know something how to impress your interviewer that uh yeah how to impress if you don't know anything actually i have a podcast uh it will come very soon so there we have discuss everything in detail now video is very short so i am not going there additional info also you can i think i am not sure what's there let me go there uh, save and let me see what is there research fellowship pdf oh okay 
okay okay they have given everything like why they are pursuing this project so we can go through everything and i hope uh, this is gonna be an interesting one but again as i said i think in the home page only they have written like they will select one student per project let me see okay selection procedure uh, selection number depend on like uh, yeah they will be test and interview test and interview one of them not both of them most probably selection depend upon the brilliance academic performance so your cgpa need to be very good but if it is not good also seven i i will tell you just apply getting selected or not selected is on them so just apply okay so i think they haven't given any detail like per project how many students will get selected so my suggestion would be if your cgp are very good like nine and above then only select this project like i'm again not sure if you go to project uh, like application phase there if you can give two three preference then okay but if there is only one like location where you need to give your preference then and if your cgp are not extremely good then don't select this because most of them select and they will select this you can select others also doing any project from here is very beneficial actually mostly as you are going to iit bombay you will be there and there are some other section also for example let me see uh interdisciplinary program education yeah you can you can just uh, see in physics also there would be some beautiful projects which are related to vlsi for example if i go there then um, i'm not seeing any actually nano architecture demand quantum material yeah these are important actually not directly but they have some significance building single photon source quantum information um, i'm not sure but probably it's little related to quantum computing but i'm again not sure i need to go into detail you can just go and see detail let's see anything else for example if we go to computer sciences engineering mm, pushing limit of hardware preferring with a programmable hardware prefecture re code of support optimization okay in there also there is not much and in interdisciplinary climate education industry engineering um, program mechanical i think here you will have some robotics related yeah modeling of cable robots so you can also explore those so that's all from iit bombay that's one of the internship opportunity you must apply getting it not it's not on your hand then the second internship opportunity we have and that is from one of the institute which is very renowned for their research work and that is Jah uh, Jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research so here also you have last date until 18 august this uh, there is not much information is given but one thing is that you need to pay 500 to register um, i think if you go to their site you will get all the details so i'll give this link and from this link you just connect to the original site and what are the list of projects here so in list of project but let me find out our department yeah for example see this exploring new superconductors okay building spiking circuit for ai system wow this is wonderful project work involved designing and making pulsing circuitry for feed neuromorphic wow neuromorphic is again uh, is a future technology actually i want to make a uh, dedicated video on um, ai accelerator hardware neuromorphic computing like what's the difference and also quantum computing these three are like the future actually in future we are gonna work on these three mostly so how can we uh, use our current fundamental for those so uh, i need to do some research then i'll for sure i'll make one nano soldering circuit yeah so there are many interesting projects for vlsi guys so this all you can try i think this is also a six month course i haven't gone deep into uh, the this is the site actually here uh, everything is it's in bengaluru uh, this research institute so if you come to bengaluru if you got selected we will meet for sure uh, i will give you all the links everything but the main motivation to create this video is that I will, anytime I get any things like this, I will keep on informing you. For that, you need to subscribe this channel. And as I said in the before, there are opportunity, guys. Just we need to have the basic ready. I am working on full time job, but still I keep on studying. In, in my current group also if i get some wonderful project i can contribute but for that what the main thing is written that is your concept need to be clean and clear so in industry we work on some specific things 
and we just ignore all other things and as brain work if you don't use then you tend to forget those things right so but i keep on revising every like very log most will say most of the concept i am not using in my current work few of them i am using but i need to keep on remembering so i'm also studying revising so why don't you so the main thing is that keep studying uh, enjoy is also required but i, I think is the best when you get entertainment through study right that's a nice state to be so yeah enjoy for 5 2 3 hours a day and then keep on studying for 5 to 6 hour every day that's my recommendation so signing off we'll see you in our next video till then tata bye bye